Hello everybody, Andy Boy here with another Caffeinated Impressions, and today we are looking at Green Hell. Uh, this game is from the people over at Creepy Jar. It's uh, one of the cooler names for a game studio and developer. Um, this game has been out for a little while now uh, in early access on Steam. It's your, I hate to say typical, but it's, it, there's so many survival games out there. This is a survival game where you're in the Amazon rainforest or in the Amazonian forest or whatever. And you have to survive, you know, build fires, gather resources, build shelter, um, survive the elements of the animals and just your own insanity. Uh, but the big thing, this game is releasing September 5th. Like it's, it's coming out of early access story mode story mode is like it's you know when this game first came out it's kind of like all right survival do this do this do this do this whatever whatever against the environment not other players per se just against the environment itself all right cool for them to add a story mode to this style of game is pretty cool and i really appreciate that i really appreciate that they they spent the time going you know what? we're going to keep this game in early access do a bunch of tweaks but you guys get to play it for now and then we're going to add a story mode and i don't know that it was if it was even mentioned if there was a story mode when this game first came out in early access or along the way in the process until maybe near the end of where they're gonna you know take it out of early access but i think that's pretty cool i mean the, the, the description of the story is basically it says you are thrown deep into the emerald and impenetrable amazonian rainforest the green hell your goal is to survive in the depths of the nightmarish environment using truly innovative, intuitive means to escape. Having only a radio at your disposal, you will follow the familiar voice of a loved one through this endless and inhospitable, inhospitable, I said inhospitable. <laughs> You'll probably be in a hospital once you get out of here, if you make it, inhospitable jungle, unveiling bit by bit how you got there in the first place. What you discover will be the, will, will be the, will be worse than what you fought so hard against to survive. So basically, how do you... No, I'm not going to even go there. I was going to say, how do you... Familiar voice of a loved one. How do you know? Anyway, you got someone talking to you, trying to get you through it. And then you find out why the hell you were there in the first place. More than likely, it's like you got thrown there and like, hey, we we're trying to kill you, but you made it out. Um, surprise. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to jump into this now and play a little bit of the story mode. Uh, there's so much out there for the actual survival and challenges and stuff like that. We're not going to do that. We're going to actually do story mode and we're going to play a little bit up to a certain point and then we're going to stop it there so it doesn't really spoil it too much. As you can see, this is uh, before the I'm recording this before the release date. So it's at version uh, 0 0.90. Uh, there will be a patch update that'll bring it up to um, 1.0. So and that's basically what they mean the story mode will come out 1.0 but we have access to it early thank you creepy jar for this um doo -doo -doo -doo. oh yeah um uh, i always do that too let's check the options you know because this is a first look and first dive into a game you want to see you know everything when you first turn the game on that's how i do you get the language subtitles crosshair and hints of course all those are on we come back here do the controls no i'm not helping you Oh, wait, no, I hit graphics. All right, well, we'll stay in graphics. I don't want to go... This is what it was set to, except for um, V-Sync. V-Sync was off. I turned it on. I don't know why. Uh, we'll see if it has any great uh, screen tearing or anything like that. Texture quality was also at high, but I put it down to medium because of my graphics card. And I'm recording this as well as playing it. So, who knows? Uh, but, yeah. There's not that many options to go with, but... I'm okay with it. <laughs> uh, go back to controls. As you can see, not really that many options. And then you go into key bindings and it lets you know, hey, all this stuff does this. Um, I'm probably going to need to remember this, but I'm not going to at the moment. So you will see me falter and go, what button does what? So, because I will never remember that. And then, of course, you got the audio, which is volume, dialogues, music, ambient, and sound effects. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the story mode. Difficulty level. 
Uh, walk in the park. Welcome to the jungle. King of the jungle. Green hill. Additional modes. Customize your difficulty and overall experience. Okay, that's... Now, see... How do I... Do I go in here and just... Wow. This is what I want to see more in video games. Instead of just the preset... All right, easy, normal, hard, super hard, elitist um, difficulty levels. If it's possible, if it's easy, if it's not that hard to like put in the game and develop and get the game out on time, um, why can't we have something like this where we can preset? We can set the combat difficulty, nutrients, depletion, permadeath. We can turn on or off, you know, sanity on, tiredness on, hazards. We can go in there and try all this stuff is on. We can turn all this crap off if we want to. Permadeath. We could turn on or off. Uh, combat, nutrients, depletion, all that stuff. That's pretty cool where I can I can select that and change what my um options are because you got walk in the park which is sanity off, hostile tribes off, predators off, nutrient depletion slow. So basically this is like a walk in a park. So you can focus on building and exploring. That's cool. Welcome to the jungle should be normal. Yep. Okay. King of the jungle should be very hard. Yep. And then green hell. Wow. And then tour. What's tourist mode? Oh wow! It just turns. <laughs> It's basically a casual stroll through an Amazonian rainforest. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go with Welcome to the Jungle since it's, you know... Welcome to the Jungle! Um... Eat a normal mode, basically. Recommended for all players. What is this? Recommended for new players? Want to focus on... Okay. Uh, let's go with Welcome to the Jungle. Empty save slot. Help me. That's pretty. Is he drawing that as he's, like... Lost in the rainforest? You have a lot of time. Well, I guess you do if you're sitting there waiting to, you know, you're eating and all that stuff. Loading. Loading. Uh, there is no controller supports um, that I know of, and I don't know if it's going to come out. So, keyboard my Whoa. I guess for this kind of game, you keyboard and mouse is fine. Okay, I'm here. Hey, I made it. <laughs> is everything all right? Yeah, you can come up. Um, you do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? Hold T to use walkie-talkie. You can come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something. In, in my backpack. You are setting me up. I bet you want to nap some more. I know you all too well. <laughs> oh, maldición. Maldición. I, I don't know what that means. Very well. You can catch up, I guess. The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. Okay. Ooh, sensitive. Ooh, sensitivity. What? Why am I getting motion sick by doing this? Hold on. Uh, we need to go into graphics. Oh, the FOV. Maybe I need to turn the FOV up. This is high as it goes, right? Let's see if that fixes it. Uh, maybe. I'm getting this. It's like there's some weird fish eye thing going on here. I don't know what it is. And I, there's got to be a reason why there's some, it's like a fish eye effect, and it's really giving me motion sickness. Ugh. All right. I'm trying to soldier on. Oh, uh, have you tied down the bow? I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances. Um, Lizards. I am glad we came back here. Why did we come yeah, back here? I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> Still. I feel you, homie. Still, we can't forget what we came here for in the first place. I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Jabahuaca village. I found the village. Will not speak to us. Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's no run You're button. A nominal interpreter. 
If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. <laughs> I'm Dr. Higgins. Okay, I found the tent. Is everything all right? Eh. Spacious interior, luxurious cots, not all that fancy. Oh, and there's a dirt floor. As long as it doesn't leak, I am fine with it. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Perfecto. Perfecto. Wait, oh, I was going to say, what the hell is going on? Well, that's everything. We're yeah, officially just, settled uh, in. Weird effect. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement. But like, see, look, maybe if you, you go should, this way, see how everything's like reconsider this. warping? I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. How do you know? Yeah, look, everything's we warping. To do this. Why? It's the only way to make them talk. Like a fish eye lens. I don't understand this. Right. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic can beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. Romantic snake and can beans. Oh, let's read the note. Chabo Noah. Chabo no. Chabo no. It's been three years since we saw them last. They often react with fear. To the unknown it's crazy but we really need their help our entire plan depends on it lost tribe this is their land their heritage as it's been for thousands of years everyone who comes here needs to respect this and then they're hunters oh i could have just read it that way really oh, damn it why didn't i see that button oof. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. can i read that too yep Behind all the danger is still so much beauty of this jungle. Many small mammals are food source for the indigenous, indigenous locals. Rich in proteins and fats, they are a great complement to fruits and vegetables. Okay. Man, how many notes are around here? The, this, this deadliest amphibian on planet is completely harmless for the natives thanks to Ambo ritual. South American tribes catch a living frog to extract the poison, then they puncture burn. Then they puncture burned children's skin with small doses of frog poison until they become immune to oh, oh oh okay i get ya i get ya um, what's that oh another note living in the deep interior of the amazon the yabahuaca is one of about the 80 lost tribes due to the fear of the modern and cruel world they mostly remain isolated they re welcome us they are the key and the only lead as we are why we are here yeah, this FOV, oh my god. I am getting massive um, motion sickness right now. Oh, I don't know how much longer I can play this, people, but I'm going to try my best. But I don't understand why. It's just, like, you see how it's, it's this weird warping effect. Like, I have, I'm looking through a fisheye lens right now, and I don't know if there's a way to fix that. Like, if I go into options and I go into graphics, there's really no way of changing it. Like, object draw distance, FOV. FOV won't go any higher than 80. So if we lower it, will it be better? Okay, so the warping is not as bad at 70. Oh, we can open this door. Hunt, get the campers started, oh. please. Yeah, see the warping; it's not as prominent, but it's still there. But it's not as bad, so we should be good with it at seventy. It's kind of a shame, though. I, I have to limit my field of view. Emergent layer, canopy layer, understory, undergrowth. What? I don't. Hold C to like, open wheel and select notebook and select fire. All right, find tools, cutting tree. Aha, machete, machete. Honey, I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? Yeah, everything the porters left. Why? Is uh, where that would go? Missing? I'm huh. not sure yet. Uh. Feels 
Uh, can I chop it? I was going to say, can I chop it into more little sticks? rope you're gonna need and hiya chop it down chop it down chop it down that's pretty cool how you like you can break up uh Man, how many things can I carry? Oh. Do, 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 do. oh, we need more sticks. Aya. There we go. Well, it looks like everything's ready. All right, we need embers. Hey, can you bring me a lighter? Are you kidding me? We don't have a freaking lighter. Some equipment. <sighs> don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. <sighs> Not a single lighter. Big no ears. Of matches. <laughs> uh, we, we That's like in both. your typical survival kit. Did you check everywhere. I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, what? Well, not the best start of the expedition. Notebook and uh, fire. How do I, what? Uh, fire starting tool. Come on trees, come on trees. Yeah, I know. Oh, crafting. Nope. This one. Stick or small plank. And small stick. All right. I need a stick or small plank. Plank. Stick. Use tool to create ember. In fact, no book. Yeah. Uh, oh. Nope. Fire. How do we, what? Drag and drop an item on the crafting table. Oh. Uh, stick. And, you know. Where's my plank? Oh, there it is. And how do we craft? I said stick and plank. What? Hold on. Hand drill, stick or plank. Small. Oh, stick or plank and then small stick. Okay. Um, shit. Okay. Plank. And small stick. Craft. Hmm. I need to find something dry. All right. Bird's nest fiber or cut down some dry leaves. Okay. Are these dry leaves? Nope. Are these dry leaves? All right. We should have something to start the fire with. Uh, and then small leaf pile. All right. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Why they get so big? Oh, because we only put two on there. Okay, put this back in here. And... Uh, can I start the fire? I have... Oh, ember required. Ember required. Well, fire tools required. Tinder... Oh, these aren't tribal use. Okay. Are these dry leaves? Mm hmm. Palm leaf. No, they're not dry leaves. Oh. I'll take that egg, too. Sucker! Press race mount button use. Select use. What? Press right mouse button. Uh, what? It's not letting me. Okay. Hmm. I don't know how to use this. I just what do I what do I do? Oh, drag bird nest. There we go. Aha! Oh Mia. The fire is burning. We have fire. Copy. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay. Took me a minute there. How do you do it? You seem so calm. I am calm. I like how we don't see her don't face at me, all. But strangely, it feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. The <laughs> scorpions inside the Amazon? Well. I am well aware of that. Huh. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. I love you. If I had known where my ambition would lead us, hmm. I like you, I that you get choices. Put you in danger. I wouldn't have written that damn book. Yeah, and if everyone had that attitude, there would be no scientific progress whatsoever. Don't blame yourself. There might still be time to reverse the whole thing. What thing? And like, what's going on? I love you too, Karina. Nonetheless, Karina. I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will Jabberwockies? be <laughs> I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. They don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military shop. <laughs> Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and oh. research, violating the tribe's taboos. So I'm a, I did something that pissed everyone off because there was some kind of medical breakthrough. I guess figured out. Okay. Here we go. Damn it, video game. You're gonna make me yawn too. Holy damn it. That's realism for you. Hmm, candy. Can't have it. Uh, there's more candy. I can't have that either. What's this? I let the village call me with, with radio. Call me with radio when you wake up. There's a little gift from you. Love, Mia. Hmm. No, oh, that. Can I? That's my gift. Let me open the gift. Or is that not my gift? We had all those. Ooh. Number one. So, oh, okay. Mia is your wife. With my wife Mia. Hey, Mia. Hey, Mia. Say hello. Oh, hello. Tent is up, so we can start working right away. I'll focus. 
focus on indexing new plant species and Mia. Can you explain what you're gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna well, meet people. I'm Okay, okay, um... That's all for now. It was... Mia? And Jake Higgins, day one. Well, can I, like... There's, like, a... I want this watch. Give me this damn watch. Wait, is there something out there? Hey, man! I made that... Ooh, what's this? Can't use that. Alright, let's go call her. Hello? Mia? Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up? Yes, I am. Where are you? I should reach the village shortly. Remember, if you see a totem, do not go any farther. Those are clear warnings. I know, I know. I read your book. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me, that's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. Finally. Pick up my watch. Yeah, buddy. Wait, what? Oh, that monitors my food, water, health, stamina, or sickness. Pretty cool. Exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. That doesn't work in the rain. And a macro element scanner. What? Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days. But stress can worry you out. How do I check? About it. Let me check my watch. Hold F in chat. Okay. Hmm. Yummy. How do I eat it? Do I have to take a bunch of them or? Okay, I found a bunch of nutritious stuff, but what do I do with it? Uh, inventory? Food? Oh, okay. Well rested and well fed. Alright, let's go. Perfect. And keep it that way. I will. Keep that brain of yours working at peak performance. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Have you found them yet? See, si. and as expected, they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Mm-hmm, agreed. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Okay. Be careful. Just be careful. Please. Please. I will. But if I am to live like them, we can't be talking so often. Okay. You're right. They're suspicious of technology. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. Okay. Sounds All good right. to me. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimen around here. Check the cork board. Oh, hey, cork board. Hey, I'm stuck on something. What the hell am I stuck on? Uh, this one? Have a couple plant leaves are great for healing venom bites. Okay. This one plant north side of the camp. After climbing a rock, there are plenty of them. All right. Oh, word? Okay. We want to go north. We want to go that way. Gotta climb a rock. This one? Oh, this one. There we go. I knew they were going to make it easy for me. Where's this rope from, anyway? Is this our rope, or is this just... Uh, oh, fuck me. 
What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Mia. Holy shit. I knew I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Jasmine, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. And choose body inspection. Ooh. My bot. Wait, which one's body? Oh. That arm is fine. I don't. How do I? Oh. Oh. oh that's Ooh. definitely not good. Nope. Mm hmm. I'm good there. Good there. Didn't hide armor. And let's back out of that. Let's call Mia. Uh, it's it's all right. Nothing's broken, just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? Nope. I can't say that I remember. Look for Molineria. It has uh, long leaves without any markings, and is surrounded by yellow flowers. Okay, I'll go look All for right. it. Right. Oh, aha. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Roger that. Over and out. I found it. It's right here. I found it right here. Why do I have to look at my notebook? I found it. Yeah, I know. I found it. Right here. Oh, cut down. Oh, man. Do I have any... Thing that I can use? Weapon wise? Oh, there we go. Aya! Ah, thank you very much. Create a bandage. Craft. Boo, 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 boo. How do I create a bandage? Uh. All right. It's long leaves are deal for crafting bandages. How do I do that? Create a bandage. Plant and get its leaves. I did. Didn't I? Did I need to actually grab the leaves of the plant? Ah, balls. Uh oh. What? Give me that. Hmm. Get its leaves across the bandage. I'm trying to. I got the leaves right here. Oh, nope. Yeah. Oh, I see. Craft. Uh. Oh, you can only do one at a time. Okay. How do I drag it to the wound? Open. Oh, open inspection. All right. Uh. Then. Back, back. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd my... Oh, I dropped it. Balls. Hold on. Hold on. I dropped everything. Damn it. <laughs> dropped my bandage. I dropped my bandage. Oh, no. Hmm. Wrap it up. All right. We good to go. Here I am. All wrapped up nicely. A lot. Um, not much. Good. Hopefully, it will heal fast. So you know it will. How are you doing? I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. 
I expect to be treated as one of their own after that. And I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I... I heard something. <laughs> so I was like, ah! The chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully. But a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now, the Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. Told you. Can I cut this down? Whoa, it went to day 32. Jake, Holy crap. Please come in. Jake, I need you here. Jake, please. Please answer me. Oh, God. Man, What's going on? What happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia. That's not good. What the hell's going on over there? Find me. How the hell am I, how am I supposed to find her? Oh, it just did its own thing, I guess. Oh, here we go. Oh, damn. Uh, they're after my ass. Oh shit. That's a crocodile. Wait, what? Oh, he ran through it. Really dark. I mean, it's supposed to be because you're in the. Oh shit. Oh, that's a really late title screen or title card. Holy crap. Okay. Hello. Hello. Jake, Jake from State Farm. Going on What's going on? Did I get it? Nope, I did not. Oh. All right. Oh, I'm awake. Are you still there or is my battery dead? What's going on? Um, oh, oh there Mia. we go. Mia? I don't have God, shit in my backpack, do I? Nope. Alright, we're fucked. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I had an accident. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. Please. Help? Over. Find help. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, I already looked at this. What? Oh, there's another page. Hallucinations. Known treatment. Consuming an item with natural anti-stress components increases sanity. Okay. So we need to... What was it? Find help. Bamboo fence. Bamboo wall. Small shelter. We don't have even have a um, weapon yet, though. That's the problem. Oh, there we go. Small stick. Water there. Oh, stick. Okay. I take that. No idea where I'm going. Okay, so there's water everywhere. Can we cross this? We can't even punch anything. 
Are my supplies like over here somewhere? Hmm. Don't see anything over here. I started over here. Okay, we need to go up here. I'm sure we're going to find something soon. With some rope. Give me some rope. how much rope I need, but and now I'm at a loss for where I need to go. I would assume I need to go over this way. Or over that. Oh, I see. Hey, I'm stuck. I'll take this. Walked right by this. Alright, nice wide open area. Ooh, some flowers. I need to make a weapon now. Whoa, what was that? I camp over here somewhere, maybe. The hell is that noise? That one? Okay, blade required. Well, I don't have a blade. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, we out. <laughs> we can't hit that fucker. Um... Okay, I'll take that. I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. Uh, let's see. I guess we're supposed to make a place to live? He is not responding. Don't have any supplies. It's just as fine to help. Okay, that go. Venom wound. Yeah, I know I need to get the venom wound fixed. I need to find weapons first. I guess I got to create a spear and all that stuff. Probably shouldn't be running around like this through the jungle. Yeah, I should probably build a place to sleep, right? That would make sense. A little bit of shelter going here. Ooh, wait. What's this over here? Nice little area. Is that a totem? Oh, I was supposed to make it here, I guess. I'm dying. Uh, uh, uh. And I couldn't eat fast enough. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh, because the poison killed me. You died. Kill the poison. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for this caffeinated impressions. I don't want to sit there and go any further. Um, Just because we're already 45 minutes in. I don't want to make this too long of a video. But I like what, what it's doing so far. It's basically just taking the survival part of the game and just tacking on the story. I can see the story coming out pretty cool. Uh, you're trying to f figure out what's happening to your wife. Um, and then of course going through, uh, going through all this stuff and all the days that you try out here to survive, we're probably going to see some twists and turns in the plot. And I'm hoping the story delivers on its psychological thriller aspect. Um, because I think that'd be really cool. Uh, I like it so far. I 
kind of I understand why, but I kind of wish there was a little bit more tool tips um, instead of just like, all right, go do this. Like, I, I didn't know I had to go and try to find a village because that popped up saying, hey, you know, inspect this village. So I guess that's like the first place I go to. And then like, hey, build your home here, build it out and then go from there kind of thing. So I kind of wish it gave me a sense of what I needed to do up in the corner of like it said find help but then i think there was something else that said and it disappeared so that's kind of annoying but who knows um that's one of those things that like you it's a survival game you're supposed to figure it out dummy <laughs> oh man but yeah that's gonna do it for this caffeinated impressions green hell is actually pretty cool the story mode is gonna i i'm i see myself diving into it and playing a lot of it so that way i can hopefully make it to the end uh i might lower the difficulty who knows uh, I'm not good at survival games, <laughs> but I like them a lot. I just, I'm just not good at them. Uh, the game will be out September 5th. I believe it's still going to be $20 when it comes out. 10% uh, off uh, until the 20, wait, no, the 28th already passed. Never mind. So it's $20 when it comes out. Uh, as far as the store page on Steam says that it's going to be. So at the time you see this video, it should be out. Go ahead and buy it if you're interested interested in the story mode or... If you already have it and you're kind of like, I need a reason to go back to it. Now you have a reason to go back to it. You played the heck out of it during early access. Now you have the story mode and you'll be better at it than I am because you know exactly what to do because you already know how to do the crafting and all that stuff. <laughs> I don't, I'm still learning the systems and everything. So yeah, that thumping in the background is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, but yes, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day, evening, morning, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.